Hi everyone, Teresa Louise here. Welcome to my studio where I try to create beautiful things. At least to me they're beautiful. <laughs> so today what I'm working on is a quilt that happens to belong to Sobeka. Do you guys know Sobeka? If you don't, you need to get over there to her channel and check her out. She's a lot of fun. Really enjoy her. Anyway, um, I said that I would try to record this. This is my first time trying to record from my long arm. Um, so please bear with me. I'm sorry about the lighting. I need the lighting to see what I'm doing. And I know the lighting in my sewing room isn't great for filming but anyway here we go so um i have it loaded on my frame and i'm ready to get quilting and i wanted to show you how i start so first of all i look at the quilt and uh, becca has kind of given me you know uh free reign <laughs> to do whatever I'd like to do on here. Um, I mean, she did give me some ideas what her expectations are, but um, so anyway, let's get started here. So I've got some ideas and what I'll do is I have a piece of plastic. It's like vinyl. And I take that laid on top of the quilt here and I always you know if you're gonna do this be sure and put like um, masking tape or whatever tape you want this is painters tape and I put it around the edges that way I don't go off and I always use the same side I know what the top and the bottom is and then I lay it on the top of the quilt And then I use a uh, dry erase marker and then I use old pieces of batting to um, erase you know whatever my stuff my designs so uh, let me bring the camera down so I can show you what I'm gonna do here Okay, I think you can see that. Okay, so I'm going to start up here on the border. And um, her sister loves daisies and flowers, and they like um, feathers. So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start here, and I'm going to make a flower. And then I'm going to do a leaf. And then I'll do another flower. And I might come in here and maybe do some of this. Not sure yet. Another leaf. And another flower. And then another leaf and that'll be this first border and it'll be along this edge here too um then i'll be at the other end <laughs> but i don't want to move everything so then here is going i'm going to just come in and do something like this and i'll be in this corner and when i do it it'll look a lot better and then I'm going to put some hearts here. And then I'll have my line again. And 
and then that'll put me here and I'm going to do a line again here and it'll put me in that corner I try not to break thread if I don't have to so then here I'm going to See, I had this all figured out when I was going the other way, <laughs> so now I got to think, rethink it. Um, I'm going to do these. And that'll put me in this corner, and then I'm going to do another heart. I might do a double heart in these. So I just keep going along and doing that. So I'll have more hearts in each one of these squares. Over here, I'm going to do some feathers. And like that and that'll be all the way down in that one and these feathers are going to go over here too i might start them when i'm in this spot yet i haven't haven't decided so something like that okay so that's kind of the general idea of what I got going on here um, this quilt happens to have all kinds of different blocks in it so there's going to be all kinds of different things going on but um, uh, still want to have some consistency so these things will be repeated, like the flowers, the hearts, the feathers. Um, so they need to be repeated throughout the project because you want to have some balance. I once heard that, um, oh, sorry. Sorry about that. I once heard that um, to pick five designs and then use those throughout. I think I might have a little more than five, six or seven um, in this this one, but you know, I think it'll still be cohesive. So that's kind of what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you um, while I'm quilting. I don't have a adapter for a camera on my sewing machine um, it, do you guys know what type of setup they use out there I guess I could do search on YouTube and find out but um, you know this is just kind of <laughs> I'm just kind of winging it with this camera stuff that's <laughs> that's just all there is to it you know uh, I, I can't afford just to go out and buy everything that I need to do this and I and I'm just doing it for for fun you know so the filming <laughs> so anyway that's what I do and then because this uh, quilt has so many different I'll know I'll try and move the camera over here so you can see what I'm talking about I will take a picture of this design with my camera before I 
wipe it off. And when I go to wipe it off, I always take the plastic off and bring it over here and wipe it down on this side over here, away from the quilt, especially when it's not my quilt. So let me see if I can grab the camera. Here's the other side. So you can see I have flying geese here. Um, and then I have a four patch here. And then in the corner, I have another four patch. And this these corners look the same. So that's good. So each corner will be the same. And these these will have lilies in it, like a lily type thing here. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> Keep forgetting to pull you back up so you can see me. I'm going to go ahead and get started on this. Um, I've picked a nice light gray. It's kind of um, a silvery gray. It looks blends well. I think it's going to, I don't think it'll be overbearing in the white or in the pink or black. So, um, and it, it'll look good on the back too. The back is, uh, well, I can't show it to you, but I don't think, let's see, is pink. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, Real pretty design on the back. This is a beautiful quilt. I cannot wait to get going on this quilt. Um, and I think it's going to be really pretty. And I really hope that Becca loves it. So thank you so much for popping in and checking out and seeing what I'm doing on my quilting. Thank you. And you guys have a great day. Now get out there and go make something. Bye for now.